Hey folks, I am coming to you on Tuesday, September 29th at A Piece of You. And it is Sock Yarn Fun Day. And we have tons of sock yarn for you guys. Hey Sherry, hey Sheila. And I actually have some yarn that I didn't have here earlier because we seem to have a um, buying frenzy of whatever was on the table today. So, hey Heather, good to see you and Ellie and Deborah. Fantastic. It is, I think, raining now. Oh, it stopped for a minute. No, it's, it's perfect knitting weather here at A Piece of You. And hey Dawn, good to see you. And we're going to wait just a few minutes and then we'll get started. I don't know if you guys watched. Did anybody watch my sneak peek? Give me a thumbs up or a, a heart or something if you watch the sneak peek. Um, we have our assistant tech support here today. So we are going to move a little slower, but not super slow. And hey, Shirley, did you check your calendar for that uh, fiber chat? Hey, Lori, good. You, you watched Jill and Lori and Kathy and Joanna. Fantastic. Oh, we got a couple people who watched the preview. I know. I apologize. I usually do it the night before and I forgot. I was eating dinner when I thought about it. So, um, hey, Carrie. So, Cindy is on. Yay. There is quite a leg. Okay. Do you want to use my iPad? Okay. Yeah, Jan, Jill Vander. Yeah, I did too. You're good. Lisa Bywater. Do you see Lisa Bywater? You want to bring it up on my iPad? It's probably faster. It's in my bag. We're having technical difficulties. Hey, Beth. Hey, Carol. Um, it has the scream on it. Marilyn knows what it looks like. Should be right. Yeah. Four three one three zero zero. Now everybody knows what it is. Um. So don't take my iPad home. We're having technical difficulties. They're going to have to redo our whole store computer. Yay, I'm so excited. No, not really. Hey, Sue. Oh, sorry, Shirley. I'm so bummed you can't do that Firebush side chat. Maybe the next one. Um, while we're waiting for those guys to get set up, I'm going to go over the fiber side chat again. We have one tomorrow, and it is on... Crochet, Tunisian crochet. These are live Zooms. It's at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, they're $20. They're on our face on our website. You can order them. Um, or if you're going through, you can also order them that way too. Okay, let's see who you see. Is my iPad better? Thanks for bearing with us, guys. Hey Barb, hey Joanne. Good to see you guys. Okay, so we're going to go with the iPad then. All right. Yay, team. It's probably because I have like 47 things open on my iPad so or on my computer. So uh, didn't think to take them off. So we're going to go in the same order that we did on the sneak peek, but some things have disappeared because we had a feeding frenzy. As I said earlier, we had a feeding frenzy earlier. And so, but I've replaced them with probably better stuff. So let's turn the camera around. We just got this new Spud and Chloe sweater. It's a washable worsted. It's cotton and wool, but we're not going to talk about that yet. That'll be another day. And so we are looking at some opal yarns. These were 22 and they are now 
17. And this is our first color. It is 9835, and this is how it knits up. 9835. If you're new to us, what you do is you put in the color, like I would say Opal 9835, and my phone number. And then what we do is we call you either later today or tomorrow, and we get your credit card information. So that's the scoop. It's very easy. And, but we go by the order that tech support gets the comment. Um, and so 98.35 and a 98.10. We're not to the tens yet. Sarah, we gotcha. Did you get Sarah? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to be a little slower because I want to make sure tech support's getting it. Okay. So, these are 98.35. They're going to knit up like that. Sarah, obviously, watched the preview. And 98.35. I like to throw yarn, if you haven't noticed. And then 98.34 is this really fun one and she needed 9810 Lori watched the video cuz she told me so I have we go kind of slow 9835 and then we have 9834 hey Carmen good to see you we are doing sock yarn palooza uh, the opal sock yarns were 22. They're now 17. So 9810 is the one everybody's been giving me in the comments. This one is 9810. And that's how it's going to knit up. Very pretty. Hey, Pam. Good to see you. This one is 9817. And I think this one is pretty. Hey, Marianne. And I actually think this one... This one here, 9810, 17, or 9834 would be really cute in this opal sock yarn bunny. Isn't he cute? If you had a little baby girl coming, and we know there's going to be babies coming, um, that one would be really cute for a little girl. Shirley wants 34 and 17 and 2 of 17. 17. Perfect. Okay. So our goal is to empty these tables, just so you know. Um, so did you get 34 also for her? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we do know that everybody's internet, as you can tell from we've been using three different machines, um, has different speed so I'm gonna kind of go a little bit slowly because we don't have like 80,000 balls of yarn on the table right now um, I have 9835 9834 they're gonna look like these 9817 I have one 9817 left okay so that's this one I don't I don't have one more 9817. Oh, we gave her two. I thought we gave her two. We're going to go off tech support. I saw, I have four down of 1917 and they're all. We had five. Uh, yeah. We have five. Is one of those 9834? Yeah. Okay, four. Okay. So, okay, Betty, you don't get 9817 because somebody else got it. But 9835, she's looking for this one. So, Betty, we were able to get you the 9835. Hey, Kate. Hey, Trisha. Um, 9817 was gone. So, but I do have this really pretty one, 9834, which is very close. Just has a little more color to it. And I think that one would be really pretty. Um... We don't normally put opal sock yarn on sale. I just thought it gave us a little color. Okay. Now, what we do is we go through everything, and then we come back to the ones that didn't sell, so you have a chance to um, uh, 
get it then if it's still left. Okay, this next section is added on, but I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna show you some of the patterns that I pulled. All of these are free. This is the star-shaped pillow, 1934. Nope, that's a different yarn. Um, it must be over there. Um, the star-shaped pillow, in case you don't want to make socks. The ex-boyfriends is a nice little triangle shawl. Uh, we're not finding a 1934. Betty, so we're not sure what you're looking at. We have a 9834. Is that what you're looking for? That was the other pink. Are you looking for this one, which is 9834? Let us know. We're just going to let the phone ring because we are not open right now. It's probably Visa calling us or somebody saying us, have we voted yet? Something like that. We get all kinds of scam calls. If you are on the line and you're calling us, just leave us a message. We are going to show you one of the favorite ones from this morning was the zigzag scarf. We're not sure. What is... Okay. Yeah, we're thinking you want night... Yeah, okay, she, yes, she does. Rick Rack scarf takes two skeins and you want two skeins that look different from each other. And that's a real easy one to do once you get going on it. The Tiana scarf, I actually made um, with a different weight of yarn, but it would be really pretty in a sock yarn. So these are different ideas if you don't make socks. The beach ball shawlette has a little cable issue here on the side. Uh, the printer wasn't very good, but it's a little cable type thing. And that one is really pretty if you're looking for something small. The Podster gloves have removable, like, flip-over thumbs and fingers. So those are kind of fun. The Twin Leaf meat, Mitts, excuse me, I know Lynn is looking for that one. And Lynn, my next section I think would be really pretty for that. And then the Falling Leaves socks, that one is a real pretty one. Um, these are all free on Ravelry, um, and if you are interested in any of these patterns and need us to print them out or get them for you, just let us know. Um, let's start with the next section. So because we had a section that got eliminated, hey Susan, hey Judy, we are doing this one, which is second down on the right, and this is color 1282. And this is a really pretty stripey yarn. It is on the right hand side. It's the second one down from the top. And I love this one. I think it's really pretty and they're just such good fall colors. That one is 1282. This next section, they are all 1350. They were normally 17 or $18 and they're 1350. Hey Marcy, good to see you. Um, so this is 1282. I only have um, two of those. Some of these are limited quantities, okay? So I'm just going to let you know that. I kind of went with the fall color thought. This one is 1624, and it is, hang on, it is the second one down from the top on the right. And so see how all of these are kind of stripey, but they're not obnoxious stripies. Um, and they're really pretty. Oh, Mari wants $12.82. Yep, just one. So this one is $16.24. Yes, the shawls are all, everything I showed you in those free patterns are all one skein projects. One skein projects. Um, so this one is twelve sixty four. This one could be really pretty with some of the other ones for the zigzag. This one is sixteen twenty eight. Hey Debbie. Hey Deb. 
So this one is really pretty. I thought it saw, it just looked like fall. 1628, the the leaves and everything, they're going to they are already starting to go. 1629 kind of looks like a nice um pumpkin color almost. And I had a customer come in and she's making um little stuffed pumpkins out of this color. 1629. Isn't that pretty? It's going to stripe a little. 1282. 1282 is now gone, Kate. And thank you for your phone number. And Lynn wants 1628. Good choice, Lynn. I think that would be really pretty in those twin leaf mitts that we talked about earlier. So I have 1624, which is this pretty rusty reds and oranges. Very pretty. Um, I have 1628, which is the golds. And I have 1629, which is the oranges. If you need a hunter's hat, um, that would be good. It's a little low key, but it has a little stripe. This would be really great for the sake slouchy hat. Um, if you had a hunter in your life who just wanted a little bit of orange on his head. Okay. Yes, there is. Online New York. It's 1624. Um, oh, no, 16. Yes, it's this one. It's the red. It's the first one of the New York. Okay, maybe I was a little dyslexic. Okay. <laughs> Mari would like the 1624 also. So 1624 is gone. So we have 1628 and we have 1629. You guys are going to miss out on these colors. They're 1350. It's a great deal because these were like 17, 18 dollar balls of yarn. So um and they'd be really pretty in some of these patterns that I came up with. We're going to move on to Zitron Trekking. These are made in Germany and they are, all of these are washable wools. Um, they're all good for socks. I just pulled out some patterns that weren't necessarily socks um, because I know I get a lot of people saying, what about socks? I don't make socks. So this one is a one-of-a-kind here in our store, and this one is color 55. I have one of those. It's going to do a little striping thing with these colors. Uh, Betty, I, oh, 156. We gotcha. That was my next one coming. Betty is 156. Uh, 154. Citron 55 is gone. 154 is this really pretty one. Hey, Dorothy. This is 154. I think this is fun. It'd be cute in a hat. If you like the fall colors, I have all of the colors all in one ball, and that's 495. That one was added because one of the colors sold out, so I added that one. And then if you're into Halloween, um, this one is a Fair Isle one. And this is 143. And it has all the Halloween colors in it. It's like fantastic. And you know those telemarketers, they are a pain in the butt. Um, so that one is 143, and I have several of those. Now I want to show you. I have this other pattern here called Graffiti on the Metro. 143. And that is a fingerless mitt that takes one skein. It may even take half a skein. Hey, Janet, good to see you. And I thought that one was just kind of fun. You don't have to make the cuff as long as that if you don't want. Then you could probably get two out of a ball, two pairs out of a ball. But just dumb knitting. Sometimes you just need dumb knitting um, because it's just super easy. Hey, Susan, good to see you. All right, so let me scroll back here. So in our Zitrons, I still have 154. 
I have four ninety five and I have some one forty threes. These were eighteen dollars, they're thirteen fifty now. Okay. Now if you have a man in your life or you like to wear a lot of khakis and denim, Carnival is a good one. And this one is $18.85. It's $13.50. It is going to stripe. And it is going to stripe like, uh, I think it's the top one from on the, no, it's the second one from the bottom on the left. Colors are a little skewed on this label, but. It has a cute little stripey pattern, but it's not obnoxious because the colors are kind of muted. Um, I think they're fun. And this one is color... Oh, I'm making a mess of the table. 1885. These are 1350. 1885. I think you'll like that one, Sarah. 1885. Do you want to go in the clearance room and on the table is the sake slouchy hat and grab a head and put it on it. Uh, 1885, perfect, for Lori and Kate, do you have two 1885s? Well, so far they're all gone after Betty. Oh, Betty, so Cheryl didn't get one? So Sarah got one, Cheryl, Lori, Kate, and Betty. So I have five. Okay, Cheryl, you didn't get 1885, but I have some really pretty ones coming up. Um, and, okay, so this is the Saki slouchy hat that I have been referring to. And it's super easy. We've shown this one before. Our mannequin heads need a little redo. Here, let's put it on the table. And, oh, but you could do something with her hairdo. <laughs> Mess. Our mannequin heads have seen, we get them from the, the beauty supply school, the, you know, where hairdressers go to learn to be hairdressers. So sometimes they have fake tattoos on them, all that kind of stuff. So that is the Saki slouchy hat. It takes like half a ball to a ball. Um, these heads are really small and, um, I, the pattern calls for a zero and a two. I used a one and a three. It was fine. And that is great. And especially for some of these colors, I think that would be a great pattern. Okay. So now this is the one that I referred to earlier that we found out from a customer. Thank you, Chris. That she actually came in today and snuck in a second one. This is the Lana Mia, and it is color 976. And depending on which way you do it, you're going to either have big stripes on the cuff and skinny stripes on the foot, or skinny stripes on the cuff and big stripes on the feet. We didn't even know that until she brought one in. So it was really cool. She showed us a picture. It's really fun. And this one was a $25 ball of yarn, and it is $13.50. So um, I think it's kind of fun because it does do the different colors. So, hey, Mary. So that was Lana Mia 976. Yes, 976. And I only have four of those. Cheryl will take one of those. Okay. And I, I really think it will be because the reason I think it's really fun is because she actually came back and got a second one and she didn't even like the colors. But she liked how it played out. So that was kind of fun. Oop, Shirley's getting a Lana Mia. And Linda's getting a Lana Mia. Hey, Sandy, good to see you. I have one Lana Mia left. Oh, Deb Wiesner. We're letting tech support write a little bit. So, hey, Peggy, how do you get the slouch hat pattern? The slouch hat pattern is a free one on Ravelry, and it's called Slouchy Sock Hat, or Sock Yarn Hat, something like that. Um, and it looks very similar in the picture to that one. If you buy some yarn, we're happy to uh, print one of those out for you. But they're really super easy. 
all of this yarn is washable. Not that we ever wash our hats, but, you know, once a year we do. Um, people always ask me that. What about hats? Okay. How's tech support doing over there? You doing okay? Can we go on to the next one? Okay. Nine, oh, these are Sock Utah. And I'm starting with 1952. And these are stripey. Okay, so this one is the lower left. Isn't that cool? And I think we have all, almost all the colors here. Yeah, we sold out of a cup. The top two, I think, are gone. Hey, Carol, we got lots of new people today. So this one is color 1952. So if you're looking for this color, just give us 1952 and your phone number. They are 1350. Very pretty. This whole section is going to stripe like that. This one is $19.50. They were $18. They're $13.50 today. And these would be great in that zigzag sh um, scarf pattern, in the ex-boyfriend scarf, any of those. Because in the ex-boyfriend, they're going to have um, wider stripes and then skinnier stripes. It'll be cool. This one is $19.49. Real pretty greens. So if you're one that wears khakis and wants a nice pair of socks, that would be pretty. 1949. 1948. Um, I have two for 1950. Okay. 1948. This one, we've shown this one before. And it was, um, but it was during the... 100 year flood and so a lot of people didn't see it so that's why we brought this one out but one of my customers just came in the other day and she said oh my gosh I made this into a hunting cap for my husband and he loves it and it's orange and it's stripey so it is going to be like the second one down on the left so it's really pretty and it would be great in that sock yarn hat or in some fingerless mitts or something like that how many 49s do you have left? One. Okay. Did you get Kate? For the 1949. Yes. Okay. That's why I only have one left. Okay. So that one is 1948. This one is 1947. And you will see the tech support look, puts little thumbs up on your comments. She forgot to do that, but it's okay. Um, and it is, that tells you we got your comment. Okay. So 1947, this one's really pretty. It's going to be the bottom one on the right. Isn't that pretty? Looks like fall. 1947. And the last one in this series is 1945. And that one is going to, oh. This honey bowl is backwards. That one is going to be second one down on the right. Pretty obvious. Hey, Mari, good to see you. So this is New York, Utah. We already did New York. This is Utah. I have 1952. I like this one for a man. Uh, 45. 45 and Carol had a 45 so we have 145 left hey Renee good to see you oh Marilyn's trying to clean up and everything went <laughs> falling the other way okay we have 1952 1950 which is the blues we have one of 1949 I don't know where you can get a ball of sock yarn for thirteen fifty that's washable and feels nice and wears well. I have nineteen forty eight. Uh forty nine is Judy Quinn. Got it. Judy Watkins is watching too. I have nineteen forty seven, which this one you can tell I was kind of thinking fall in my whole thought process. And then we have one left of 1945. 
wow, this is the time of day we should be doing this because all the colors are showing up on the comp my phone exactly the way they are in the store. How fun is that? And remember, these would be great for like fingerless mitts. Um, we have another fingerless mitt, twin leaf. These are all fantastic patterns that are um, free on Ravelry. Um, we're happy to include them if you let us know. Beach Ball Chalette looks better in person than it does on the printed pattern. Tiana, that one is fun. I've made this one before and it's very fun. And remember the zigzag scarf. That one, we couldn't print enough of those this morning. Everybody was going for that one. Didn't matter what yarn we put it with. Okay. So now we're going to head over to Lang. And we have Lang Twin Socks. Hey, Pam. Good to see you. So glad you could join us. And this one is color 185. Did you get Cheryl Wants the Potster? And this one is going to knit up like this. So you're going to have two matching balls uh, or socks. Um, and so this one is 185. It is 1350. Hi, Patty. Good to see you. Did you get Kathy Perry? I just saw her sneak in. She wanted a 185. She wanted one of those. Put them wherever. All right. So I have two of the The Opal Bunny pattern is $5 on Ravelry. We just need to know what your Ravelry name is when we call you, or you can get it yourself. But it's uh, $5 on Ravelry, and it's very cute. Cheryl's made several of them. And this is the pattern she's referring to. 196 and 177. 176. 196. And Lynn is taking 177, so I didn't even get to show them off. Fine, Lynn. Yeah, Lynn, that was the one I was thinking of, too. We had a discussion on the twin leaf mitts. So I have this guy left. We only have one color of leg left. We have more on the shelf, but... This one's on sale. 185. I have two skeins of 185. Okay. Now, if you are making socks, I do this. We have this thing called Sock It To Me. And I'm so glad I took it off the thing because now the glare is really horrible. Okay, let me put it back. We, I use Sock It To Me all the time, and it's a shoe size to sock length. Um guide for lack of a better word and that's the word they use and so like I wear a size six shoe in the U.S. and so my foot of my sock would be nine inches long okay now usually um, you're going to stop two inches before your toes you know you have to um, um, Only do your toe from the, or your foot from the back of the heel out, um, and that would be seven inches. Lynn, I got you one. And it also has men on the other side, and it has infants and children. What's really handy about this is you do not have to um, really know, you don't have to go, how long is your foot or anything like that. I know I gave, I gave a scenario earlier today that I will often say, those are cool shoes. What size are those? People think I'm weird about shoes. I'm not. I'm just trying to find out what size shoe they wear. And that way, I just plug it in here. It tells you what to do. You're all set. Um, they can even give you a European size or something like that. So, wow, these are flying out the door. They're $8.50. And, um, so, wow, glad I did those. So while everybody's typing in socket to me, I only have a few left. I also wanted to tell you about our gloves in a bottle. I don't know if you've tried this. We used to have a tester here in the store. 
Um, we put it away because of all this COVID stuff. But, you know, all of our hands are getting so sore from all of the hand sanitizer and all that kind of stuff that we're doing. This stuff is great. It is, I know these are little bottles, they're $7, but they're gonna last you a while because you only need to put like a pea size on there. And um, you are, um, it works. If you put the normal amount of lotion that you would use for like normal lotion, you will um, uh, have enough for the entire room, okay? So, hey, April. Hey, Deb. Yes, the bunny and hat pattern is seven. I just pulled out the bunny because I like the bunny better than the hat. But um, there is a little hat that goes with the bunny, and it looks like the bunny's head, only it's a hat without a nose or eyes, but it has ears. So that was cute. My last color, and then we're gonna go through all the colors, is these are Plantain, P-L-A-T-I-N. And if you can kind of see, let me get the glare so it's not quite so bad, there we go. These are gonna give you like a shot of color in them. It kind of looks like the ball of yarn. And so, okay, Mari's gonna really test us. She wants 20. I don't even see 17. Oh, 17. And two of 23. That's the blue. All right. Well, Mari sold out most of this one. I am going to tell you guys in the future, you always need to watch our sneak pre previews. They're usually the night before. Um, today's, unfortunately, was about 1030 this morning. Um, and that's how you can see that people are putting in their comments before I've even gotten to the yarn. So this one is 2324 and it has little shots of lime green. Very fun. Um, this one is 2317 and this one has shots of gold in it. And Carol got that one of those. And then this one that we haven't gotten to yet is 2319 and it has shots of lavender and I think it is great. Judy Quinn got the last one of that. So I have a green, one green, which is 2324 and I have three of 2319. These are 1350 and um, they're fun. Um, there's still enough light to knit with and all that. They'd make great mitts, they make great shawls, they make great things for zigzag, you know, whatever you want to do. So Linda wants 23.24. So I'm down to 23.19. Hey, Kim. Yep, I got you, Linda. I understood your shorthand. Um, I'm getting better at that. So I have 23.19. 23.17 we don't have any more of. Um, and it's not, that one's not really showing up very well on this picture. I think it's the top right for 2319. 2319, I think that one's really cool. Um, it'd be really cool in the sake slouchy hat, you know. So while you guys are thinking about 2319, remember I do have a few of the Sakatumis left, and I do have two of the gloves in a bottle left. Okay, so I have, we're going to go back to Opal, and we have 98.35, which is this one, 23.19. Yep, I have 98.35, and let's see if that'll show up better. Starting to get cloudy at home. Okay, 23, no, 23.19. So this is Sakatumi. This one is 98.35. These are 17, they were 22. This is 98.34. Now you could do a zigzag shawl with these two skeins, and I think that'd be really cool. 
I have 9810. I have this one, 9810. That's all I have left for oval. 9835. Kate. Good job, guys. Okay, so 9835. Knits up in that pretty fair aisle. People love opal sock yarn. 9834 knits up in this kind of stripey color. It's kind of does its own thing, stripey. That's 9834. 35 and a 10. Gotcha, Shirley. And yeah, we didn't get a nice poster like that for all the colors. Um, so that one is 9810. Sometimes I think the little pictures on the balls of yarn work just as well. 9834. 9835. 9835. Good job, Lynn. 9835. Hey, Marcine, I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. 19. 9834. These are opal sock yarns that we're working on right now, and they are $22 on, or they're 17 on sale for 17. They're 22, $22 originally on sale for 17. You can tell Tuesdays aren't working for me. What do you guys think of the Tuesday um, Facebook Live? Is this a good thing to do? I know we used to do Wednesdays occasionally and do sock yarns. So 98.35, 98.34. I thought this one would have been flying out the door. Oh, somebody likes Tuesdays. 98.10. I have two of those left. Uh, oh, Peggy, we do a $8 flat shipping. Doesn't matter really how much you have unless it it doesn't fill one of our packages, and then we might charge you a little bit more. Um, Jody, thank you. I'm glad you like Sundays. I I thought I was worried last week because we were competing with football, hockey, and the Emmys. I was like, good lord, ninety eight ten. Now we have one ninety eight ten left. I have a few of ninety eight thirty fours, and I have two of ninety eight thirty fives. Hey, Michelle, good to see you. These are opal sock yarns. They are $17 on sale. And they are really pretty. Hey, Mary, good to see you. All right, we are going to, you can still comment about the opal, but we're going to move to New York. And I have two colors left. Uh, 98.10, that one. 98.34, the pink. Um, these are New York, and I only have two colors left. I have the yellows and golds. 98.10 is gone, but we do have the pink one, 98.34. Michelle, would you like the other one, which is... No, she wants that one. Would you like 98.35? Let us know. We pulled you a 9834, um, but we're all out of the other one. Hey, Bonnie, good to see you. What yarn number is the slouch hat? Um, you know what? That one was done like 10 years ago. They don't make that yarn anymore. Sorry, Judy. Um, 9835 for Pam. 9835 is gone. Sorry, Michelle. Pam got it. Um, but don't worry, we have more. There's more left on the table. So I have 1628, which are these yellows and golds. Looks like the tree across the street from our parking lot. And this one is 1629, and it's shades of reds and orange. Very pretty. These are going to stripe, so they're going to look like that. So... And then I have some Zitron Trekking XXL. These are from Germany. 
I have color 154. These are going to stripe. I do not have pictures. They don't put pictures on their label. She got 34. She didn't get 35. Do you have an extra 35? Okay, so Michelle, you got 9835 because we already pulled it off the table. Can I get the long plain fingerless glove pattern? Yes, that is graffiti. Julie, that one's called graffiti for Kathy Perry. 154. Oh, 154 for Betty. This one is 154. Now when we call you, we also have in front of us all of the yarn that is left. So, or you can message me tonight on Facebook and if there's anything left, our goal was to empty this table. So if there's anything left, um, you can ask us if it's left or you can message me on Facebook um, before tomorrow morning. Um, I will be here a little late. I have to get my hair cut. And if you saw my hair, you'd know why. Um, $4.95 is all the colors of fall. It is going to stripe. And $1.43 is a fun, I want to call it Halloween Fair Isle, because it's oranges and golds and purples and all kinds of fun colors like that. It's Fair Isle. It is $1.43. These are $13.50 a piece. Very cute. Okay. Then we're going to Utah. We were in New York. Now we're going to Utah. And I have color 1952. These are all 1350. They are going to knit up in stripes like this. This one is the bottom left. This one is 1952. I have a couple of 1950s left. I have some 1948s left. I think that one's great for Halloween or hunting or whatever, or just if you like orange. Um, it's going to stripe. And then this one is 1947. This one looks like fall also. I kind of pulled fall colors this time. And this one is 1945. 1945. I have one of those left. I have two of the Lang twin socks, which are going to look like that. And these are color 185. These are 1350. And I have one 2319, which is this cool black with lavender shots of lavender in it. 1945. We got you, Marcine. Yay, you're going to get a package. Um, these are some of the patterns I was talking about. Graffiti on the Metro. The Opal Sock Yarn Bunny. The Twin Leaf Mitts, which I had on Facebook earlier this month. And it's got a little lacy pattern. It would be pretty in a stripey, too. The Falling Leaves Socks. That one kind of goes 140, 1947. That one would be pretty. 2318. It's got to be over here. Uh, no. I don't, oh, no, it's the black and purple. 2319. We got you, Shirley. Uh, the Beach Ball Chalette. It's going to be a little cowl kind of thing. The Podster Gloves, which have a removable thumb and fingers. It's like one of those flip back mitts. Um... I have the ex-boyfriend's shawl, which is a triangle shawl, which would be cool with some of these stripy ones. The Tiana shawl, which is real fun. It's kind of like Be Simple, but a little bit more lace in it. The zigzag scarf pattern. Michelle, we'll just need your Ravelry name when we call you. Zigzag scarf, that takes two balls. 
And I think some of the ones that are left, like these guys here, New York, would be great in that. Um, and then the star-shaped pillow. If you're not into socks, I pulled some other stuff. Or you can always do the socky slouchy hat. Or it's socky slouch hat, something like that. So um, I do have actually two, three socket toomies left. Those are $8.50, and I have two of the gloves in a bottle hand lotion, which is fantastic for relieving all that hand sanitizer dryness our hands are experiencing right now. Um, so we have, I'm going to run through them real quick, and then we'll let you guys go. I have 98.34. It's the only color I have left of the opals, 98.34. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. I have 1628, which is the golds. I have 1629, which is the or shades of orange. Real pretty. Those are 1350. I have Zitron 154, which is this green and blue. I have 495, which is fall in a ball. I have 143, which is kind of Halloween Fair Isle. Those are all 1350. I have Utah 1952. There's a lot of men out there that are going to wish they had that sock. 1950, which is the blues. I have 1948, which is the orange and black stripey. Hey, Julie's husband. 143. Can I get two? You sure can, Jody. We have two of those left after yours. And then we have 1947, which are fall colors. And then we have the twin socks, which is 185. And they're going to knit up like that. Those are 1350 on sale. Jody, did you give us her phone number yet? If you can give us your phone number. Oh, we got it. She just gave it to us. Thank you. We appreciate it. It just makes it faster for us to go through and put all your info in. And um, I won't be here in the morning, but Joyce will be here starting at 9, and she'll be calling you guys. What we do is... Pretty much put your credit card in your pocket, and we will call you tomorrow. Um, and I will call you as soon as I get in, after I get my hair cut. And 1948, 1950, 1952, 143, I have two of these left. 495, 154, 1629, 1628, and 9834. We didn't do too bad. We have two containers of gloves in a bottle, $7, and we have two now I think three of the Sakatumis. so thank you all for coming and playing with us we're doing this again on Sunday at 7 Eastern Standard Time there will be a sneak peek it will not be until Saturday because we are going to be open 143 uh, we will be open this Saturday the store will be open um, from 10 to 1, it will probably be me by myself, so please bear with me. And we do keep the number of people down in the store, hand, mask, hand sanitizer, all that good stuff. Um, we will be doing that for the four, four of the five um, Saturdays in October. And I am going to tell you if nobody shows up, I'm not doing it in, in November. Not that I, you know, but I know most of you guys don't even live here who are on the, on the video today. So I'm very excited. 
Um, I can't wait to see you guys this weekend. I can't wait to talk to you on the phone tomorrow. And I have a whole bunch of fun, fun projects for Sunday. Um, I think I might even do the Noro Heart Blanket Kit. Um, we got some in the store here. I'm going to have pictures of the other two that are available. Um, and those are out of Noro Curion, and they're really cool. Everybody's been asking about it. We did the Noro Star Blanket a couple months ago. I think a lot of people are halfway, if not finished, with that one. This one is similar, and it's really cool. So I hope you guys will join us. That's just one of the many projects we will have for Sunday. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And join us, tell your friends, all that good stuff. We will have a sneak peek probably, I want to say, around 4 o'clock on Saturday. 3 to 4, somewhere in there. I will talk to you guys soon. And have a wonderful evening. Thanks for watching. Bye.